Have you had problems with prolapse in your quail and you're wondering what causes it exactly and what exactly should you do about it? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video, so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I hope you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. I had a viewer that recently hit me up and wondered what had happened to her bird. She said that it looked like it had blown its insides out its bottom. And that's a common, uh, fairly common uh, occurrence in pretty much all kinds of birds known as prolapse. And it's caused because they, when usually when they're trying to force an egg out, they're trying to lay an egg, it the, blows the bottom half of the oviduct out the vent of the bird. So it's very similar to hemorrhoids. You can kind of think of it that way. And you would treat it very similar to the way that you would treat hemorrhoids. So you would clean it up. Uh, maybe treat it with some antibiotic ointment to keep any infections down. You can gently push the tissue back inside, very gently push it back inside using something like a wet Q-tip, something like that to do that. Treat it with Preparation H or other hemorrhoid treatments to reduce the swelling. Now you'll also want to take some extra steps though. Because it's caused by egg laying, you want to remove that bird from your flock so she doesn't get any additional uh, breeding activity going on, that you don't have to worry about the other birds picking on it, aggravating the situation, and you want to put it in a dark place so it kind of stops laying eggs for a little while and gives it a chance to heal up. Here's the problem though, is that when you do treat something like that, it's almost always a reoccurring issue. So when that bird goes back to laying eggs again, it's probably going to happen again. So honestly, I, in most cases, I really recommend culling the bird rather than trying to treat it. The bird is obviously suffering, is in pain, it's probably going to be a reoccurring issue. And, you know, at least half the time, maybe 60% of the time, it, the bird ends up dying from the issue anyway. If you're wondering, the meat is perfectly fine to eat. It's nothing wrong with the bird itself as far as the meat goes. You can still eat the meat, so that's okay. Let's talk about what could be causes of that, though, if you're running into this on a regular basis. A couple of things could cause prolapse in birds. One of those is a lack of calcium in the diet or a calcium deficiency. Now, before you go out, run out and buy a bunch of crushed oyster shell and start adding it to your bird's diet, check uh, your feed that you're feeding. It should say on the label what the calcium uh, level is. And as long as it's about 1.5% to 2%, somewhere right around in there, you're probably fine on calcium. That's probably not the issue. There can actually be some problems that can occur if you add too much calcium to their diet. I addressed that in a previous video and I'll put a link up here. You can see one of the most common things is if you're planning on incubating eggs and you've got too much calcium in their diet, it can really cause problems with your hatch rates. Uh, your birds can pip but have a really hard time getting out of the shell. So those are some concerns you might have check and see, don't just add calcium to it. Some other reasons that you might have these kinds of issues, it could be a bacterial infection of some kind uh, that causes the bird to uh, just not be able to handle the egg laying process. Most common, that's probably not the issue though, because if it was, it would be spreading to your other birds. If you do suspect that's an issue, then talk to a vet, add maybe some kind of antibiotics to, uh, to the flock to treat whatever kind of bacterial infection it is. You'll probably want to get that confirmed rather than just throwing antibiotics at your birds without knowing what you're throwing at them and what it is. So, you know, get vet help with that. Again, whether that's worth it with Caternix quail or not is up to you. Do that if you want to. Here's a thing though. Don't eat the meat or the eggs if you've got your birds on antibiotics. You need to give them at least a period of time. The period of time depends on what antibiotics you're using after they're off the antibiotics before you start, um, before you start eating the meat or eating the eggs. And don't just leave them on antibiotics all the time because what happens is any kind of bacteria you're treating could develop a, an immunity to that antibiotic and it, it just doesn't work anymore. So don't just go start throwing things at them. You really need to get some kind of medical um, advice uh, before you just start throwing antibiotics at your birds. Okay, another cause of this could be just a genetic issue. That bird just has a weak system for whatever reason genetically. And in that case, again, it's probably not worth treating. It's probably worth just removing that bird from your flock, uh, calling it, and not passing those genetics on to other birds um, in a way to just kind of strengthen your flock, remove the ill, remove the ones with weak genetics from your flock so they don't pass those things on. Okay, so if you're brand new to quail, don't worry about this. This is actually a pretty rare thing. It doesn't happen all that often, and if it does happen, it's usually just one bird that has that problem, not multiple birds, and you probably won't ever see it again. Out of all the time I've been keeping quail, all the quail I've ever raised, I have never had that issue with any of my quail. Um, it, it's really not something that happens all that frequently. So if, if it's happened to one of your birds, your calcium levels are fine, 
Chances are you'll probably never run into it again. Don't stress about it unless it starts reoccurring or it happens in another bird in another situation. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I gave you some information that uh, hopefully helps you out a little bit. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your experiences are with that. If you've had problems with it in the past, what you may have done to treat that, if something has worked well for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, God bless.